you can feel the vibe of these calls. They're really specific and they're meant to help people move forward with their online education business. Um, I have a lifetime access to this community, contentpreneurs, and I've learned a lot. Honestly, I've learned a lot. This is my millionaire mentors community. But this call is led by Benny, he's COO. Benny runs everything on contentpreneurs and he is a beast. He's just a master. He's just not only a master at sales, he really is a master at communication, relationships, growth, and the level of quality of a human being that he is. Very few people are in his level. He's such a gentle, classy, deep guy. So I just love jumping into these calls and listening to what people are saying. What are their problems? What are they struggling with? And then how does Benny solve that for them? Uh, he just asked the right questions and 90% of the work is asking the right questions. So the, the expertise behind the tone and the cadence and the authority behind asking a question that might be confrontational, that might be what people are resisting, that is, that takes mastery. And Benny's a master at that. Very nice, brother. Congratulations. I like that starting all over. I like that. Hold up. Let me do this right. Go through. Yeah. Ask the questions. Dope. Follow the script. Amen. Beautiful, dude. Well, do you have any roadblocks? Do you have any things in your head where you're just like, man, I just wish I knew how to do this? Like what Ted was doing. Like, uh, I'll pay for your first month. Um, it worked once. Of course, I don't have like a lot. Of, I don't have a lot of traffic, so that's obviously part of like the main part of the equa equation. But I'm just wondering, what are your thoughts, and should I be worrying about that because I have a lot to get done, and obviously my priority is the high ticket sales. But I do feel like I'm sleeping on the affiliate game and I want to build that over time. Okay, so right now I'm about to record an application to a new cohort that Alex Ormosi and Andrew Kirby just launched minutes ago. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is the, the school speed runners private cohort for 100 people. So I need to submit my application right now. So I'm gonna submit my application right now and you guys can see me do, do this thing. So I'm gonna record a Loom video and I'm gonna be showing my screen as I do so and basically telling Alex and Sam, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> Alex and Andrew, not Sam. Sam is supporting this thing, but he's not behind it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be telling them why I should be on the cohort. So this is my application, I'm about to get it done and hopefully I can be one of those 100 people that are going to be working with Alex Ormosi and Andrew Kirby to take our school community to the next level and just really learn everything that Alex Ormosi and Andrew know about online business and scaling businesses the right way. So I'm just going to get this done and, and hopefully I get it done on the first take. We'll see. Hey, what's going on guys? Hey Alex, hey Andrew, Fado here. Uh, really excited to be one of the 100 school speedrunners. Thank you for putting this out there. Um, Andrew, we actually met a couple of months ago at school headquarters. It was really cool to meet you. I'm just gonna get right into it. This is my school profile. I have a free community. I have a high ticket done for you. My free community is the School Academy for six-figure experts aiming to add 10K a month with community design and organic content. So content is my game. I've been doing content for the last 15 years, running coloredratingstudio.com, helping big budget film producers with editing, color grading, and workflow supervision. Um, and I wanna take this new iteration of my service to the online education space. So I created videoteam.ai. I just created this like two days ago, bought the domain, made the logo, made the standing page. So I wanna be helping educational content creators make the most out of their content. And the way we do that is we help them 
improve their teaching skills, improve their recording skills, and we take everything after that, all the workload and the endless tasks of content off your plate. So let's say you just record the best video possible, upload to our server, and we will organize the media, we will edit, we will enhance the videos, repurpose into different formats, and distribute ac across all major channels and or whatever is best suited for the client. So this is what I come what I want to come into the cohort with. And um, I'm sure that with your help, I will absolutely crush it, take this to the next level way faster that, than I could do on my own. So if you pick me, if you choose me to be one of the 100, I will be one of the best students in the group by far and absolutely crush it with your help. All right, so I just applied to the new Alex Herbosi and Andrew Kirby cohort. Only 100 people will get in, thousands of people will apply. And uh, I just submitted my, my application. When you, let me show you, when you do it, you get this message, school speedrun application. Your response has been recorded. And so it took a while. It took like two hours because I filled the entire form, but I also had to record a video and I was recording a, uh, you're supposed to do a loom video which is five minutes if you it tops if you don't have a, a paid account so i was doing like a three minute video it took me like five times to get it right and then as soon as i was gonna submit it i saw that it was supposed to be only a minute and 30 seconds so i had to do it all over again and bring it down to a minute and 30. so that was a little bit of a pain in the ass <laughs> but I did it. I I re-recorded it into like a minute, minute and 40 seconds, but it is what it is. I sent it. So that was something that I wasn't supposed to do today. It was just one of those things that um, I saw I had to take action on. Uh, but Andrew just released a post that we have a full week to do that. But I was like, fuck it, I'm not gonna refine it. I'm just gonna do it from the heart, do it authentically, put it out there. And um, I've actually met Andrew Kirby a couple of months ago at the school headquarters. Um, so hopefully that he remembers that and uh, he, wants, he wants me to be in there. But this is a huge opportunity to take my business to the next level and learn from one of the top in the game, who is Alex Hermosi. No one in the online education space has as much authority and reputation as for Mosi. So it's really a huge opp opportunity. I wanted to capitalize on it and just get it done right now. Just submitted my application and um, I'm gonna go for a lunch. I'm gonna rest a little bit because I kind of like feel a little bit tired from recording the video. It took a lot of energy. And uh, so maybe take a quick nap, um, get back into flow. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. I already pick a name, I bought the domain, and um, working on the landing page at, as we speak. So a little later today, I'm gonna be showing you guys where I'm at and all of that craziness. Getting ready to jump on a meeting with a friend that's an expert on personal finance. I just met this guy online and Yeah, I'm just gonna have a personal finance chat with him right now. Right now I'm working. So I kind of like started helping people use school and add additional income through community building and, and incorporating school into their business. But right now I'm working on adding a um, done for you high ticket based on my expertise on post-production. So I want to help educational content creators just focus on their teaching and recording the best content possible so that they can just upload their raw file to our server and we can organize the media, we'll edit, enhance the videos, repurpose into different formats and distribute across all channels. I've been on a call with my mom for over an hour. She's telling me a lot about Joe Dispenza because she recently attended a big retreat with Joe Dispenza and I just wanted to um, show you guys a little bit of this conversation. A ver, di eso, dilo en inglés. What changed the electromagnetic field of the world, of Earth? The people meditating. And they measured it? They're measuring all the time, all the time. They're measuring the brains, they're measuring the coherence in the heart and they're measuring the energy. We just spent an hour, two hours, talking about the quantum field, talking about the 
pineal and the pituitary gland, energy on the body, the patterns of the mind, and uh, she's, she was telling me the transformation that she's going through after attending a Joe Dispenza retreat. I am very happy to announce that I pulled the trigger on the name. Uh, remember, I was telling you yesterday that I had like six different names. So I finally pulled the trigger, bought the domain. I went with videoteam.ai and um, pulled the trigger. Videoteam.ai. It was 146 USD. And yeah, I bought it on Parkban. AI domains are way more expensive than .com domains and you need to buy a two year um, contract, not only a one year, but like two year minimum. So yeah, almost 150 USD, went for it, pulled the trigger. I really like the name video team. It's like straight to the point. It's exactly what you get when you, when you work with us. And then dot AI made sense because I'm going to be harnessing the power of AI and helping people jump on the AI train without having to go through the learning curve. And, um, AI tools are huge right now in the content game. So I'm re really, really happy. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be sharing with you more on the branding side of things. I'm going to be, um, you know, just making a logo myself, making a landing page, moving things forward. I'm working on the copy right now, spent, spent like an hour working on, on the copy, refining the offer, refining the three-step process, talking about the benefits that people get when they join our offer and so that's that's what i've been doing but hey this is a, a success even though i didn't i didn't plan on having like a two-hour spirituality conversation with my mom i uh, really enjoyed it and she she wanted to to share with me what she's been going through learning everything that joe dispensa teaches and uh, that guy is absolutely changing the world like no doubt and healing people changing people's life honestly curing cancer curing big uh, terminal Ill illnesses and um, mind-blowing stuff for sure like if you're into that stuff discovering what's up with the quantum field what's up with um basically feeling yourself into an outcome it is absolutely necessary for anyone who's trying to change their life that they get into this quantum field understanding of things. So Joe Dispenza is the guy to do that. And I'm really happy that my parents decided to go and, and experience a full weekend retreat with Joe. And uh, so my mom was just telling me all about that. So great success today because we have a name, we have a domain. Um, dot AI domains are getting harder and harder to to find, and so the fact that I own VideoTeam.ai just makes me happy today. And uh, continuing with this momentum, wrapping up for the day. Tomorrow we'll be diving on branding and and uh, landing page for the business. And so things are going well. So I was just gonna wrap up the day and go do the pulling the mind out of the body meditation but I wanted to reorganize my space. So I, also my wife is reorganizing her painting space and my drum set was in her space. So I brought the, brought the drum set into the studio, the piano, well, the keyboard. And so now this is what I have. So let me, let me show you, let me show you around. So, this is the space, got chair over here, and you come into the place, you got the, the bookshelf, desk, now I got the keyboard and the guitar drum set, and then I have this recording desk, the light, I've got a gear, this thing is full of gear, and tripod, my visualization thing that I have to work on a little bit more, and this is what I did right now, one more hour of just placing the drum set here, bringing the keyboard, figuring out how it all would fit, I'm not exactly sure where, where to put the guitar, so yeah, this is what I did for another hour right now. And I'm gonna go have some dinner. 
After doing the meditation that my mom recommended, I experienced. And so, yeah, I just wanted to share with you, I reorganized the whole thing. Feeling good about it, feeling it's cool. I, I, I feel it's very cool that I have everything in the same place right now. All my books, all my musical instruments, all my tech and gear. So really feeling blessed and grateful for having this space, trying to keep it under control, organizing it all. It is very important to me to know where things are. I also organized this whole thing here, well, as much as I could. And um, I have, I used this little card a lot for, yeah, cables, little, little gadgets, everything that I need to create content and be creative, be productive. So yeah, I really, I really love this, this place. And yeah, this is where everything flows from. I feel like the, we design spaces and then the spaces design us back, right? Whatever we inhabit influences our state of consciousness and the behavior, the decisions we, we make. So I'm very conscious and intentional about setting the tone in the space, having everything come from order because entropy is real in creative spaces. Things get chaotic, like for example, this is chaos for me. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that there's a cable around and that these things are not where they're supposed to be. I wanna have a clean table so that when I'm, hold on. Yeah, I wanna have a clean surface all the time because um, that gives me mental space. Whenever there's, there's space and order in the outside world, I feel like it's easier to feel like there's space and order in the inside world. But uh, honestly, the, the outer space is a reflection of the inside. Um, so I feel like that's why, like I don't necessarily like order, but it hurts, <laughs> it hurts because I spend a lot of time trying to order myself. And so when things are outside our, uh, when things outside are out of order, it fucking hurts. I can't stand it. <laughs>